What's up, fight fans? Movie goal is Jedi's and Sith. I'm Jay Cotto, and welcome back to the Boxing at Jedi's Temple. And this is a boxing video for my boxing heads. That's right. Well, I'm a little late on this, but I've been busy. Also trying to keep away, you know, because there hasn't, nothing has had, actually has been happening, you know what I mean? First of all, I want to say I did not see the Daniel Jacobs fight uh, with Canelo. Uh, you know, I had my reasons. I heard it was a good fight. Congratulations to both. Some people are saying it's a robbery. I doubt that very much if it didn't go to the fucking refs. Um, especially, you know, if Daniel Jacobs didn't do enough. You know what I mean? That happens. You know, guys just don't do enough. So the ref would actually, you know, the refs would actually look at that. So, you know, whoever's saying this, I mean, regardless, I don't root for Canelo. You know, and he fought a fair a fair fight, then just give him the fight. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Daniel Jacobs didn't do what Daniel Jacobs lost to himself. Basically, you know what I'm saying? And he just let the fight slip through his hands. So it is what it is. Congratulations to Canelo Alvarez. Hopefully, you know, uh, you know, it, it, it'll get better from here. You know, that's that's all I can say. I'm biasedly, you know what I mean? I just hope I hope I hope his fight selection gets better. I hope Demetrius Andre is next, not a fucking Errol Spence Jr. You know, um that's another that's another video. I want to talk about Anthony Joshua fighting Andy Ruiz. Now, I want to let you fucking guys know that, you know, you guys are talking so much shit. I, I can tell a lot of you guys are, uh, you know, Wilder fans, and you're going to talk shit about Andy Ruiz. Now, Andy Ruiz to Wilder would be a fucking threat, okay? Andy Ruiz could fight. Andy Ruiz has fucking pedigree. Andy Ruiz really did beat, you know what I'm saying, motherfucking, uh, 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 what the fuck was his name, man? Uh, I forgot his fucking name, man. I, he, Cause he hasn't fought in a minute. Uh, you know, Ruiz just may have a chance. You know what I mean? And and it's 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 that inevitability right there that makes a fucking fight good. It makes it interesting. Where it's not just a mediocre opponent. And this is where people are failing to realize that that. Andy Ruiz is way better than baby Gerald fucking Miller, and that's fucking facts. I'm glad that baby Gerald Miller is not on the fucking plate. As a matter of fact, if you go back into my videos about a year and a half ago, I was calling for Andy Ruiz to step up after he fought Joseph Parker. There we go. After he fought Parker, that, you know, he should be given a, 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 a shot at Anthony Joshua or Wilder. Now, it's funny on how these guys that we know could fight and we know that considerably could be considered a threat, right, uh, you know, Wilder doesn't have him in their fight selection, but he, he wouldn't mind having a King Kong Ortiz, it's funny how King Kong Ortiz, it's funny how guys that are on Wilder's fucking resume always come up with some excuse where, you know, they want to fight Joshua, but then when the opportunity is given, you know, and they, oh man, they have two months, they have two fucking months and a week to prepare, and they're going to say no. Meanwhile, they're prepared for other fights at a shorter fucking time. It's all a cover-up. It's all a bunch of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's all fucking ducking games. It's all a price out. And a lot of you guys out there, you really don't know shit about the sport of boxing if you're calling Andy Ruiz a fucking mediocre. This is one of the best heavyweights in your era, in this bullshit-ass era, that, that Anthony Joshua, the real unified heavyweight champion, could fucking face. So to actually say that Andy Ruiz is a mediocre, Andy Ruiz is a fat, and I, I'm not, I'll agree, he looks like a fucking beige otter. My man look like a fucking sea otter, kid. He look like a fucking beige manatee. I'm not going to front, but that boy got pedigree. That boy could throw hands. That boy's nice with his hands. You feel what I'm saying? And, and, and Andy Ruiz is to be respected. My man could throw them fucking joints, dog. And he's durable. He got footwork. Come on, son. Come on. This ain't no John Ruiz. This ain't no fucking John Ruiz. This is Andy Ruiz. This is Ru Andy Ruiz who, who you, f a lot of motherfuckers thought that, you know what I'm saying? Listen, if you like Kawanaki, you should love fucking Andy Ruiz. And that's another fight that I want to see in the future, Kawanaki versus a Ruiz. You feel what I'm saying? Bring on the fucking bangers. Bring them on. But the point here, guys, is that you cannot go around and say, okay, that Dominique Brazil is better than an Andy Ruiz when Dominique Brazil has has not been, you know what I'm saying? And I respect Brazil. As a matter of fact, I hope Brazil actually uh fucking wins this fight against Wilder. You feel what I'm saying? So that way, Wilder, because Wilder needs a loss. Wilder needs to understand that the people he's fucking with on that side are the ones that are caging him, are the ones that are holding him in fucking sort of like boxing contempt. Like, they're, they're holding him against his fucking own career. 
You know what I mean? So I, I, I'm, 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 my, my, my whole, my whole, my whole thing here is exactly why is it that the fight selection that Wilder has, real boxing fans know it's fucking pudding on a spoon that's going to give you diarrhea. But then now when you look at the fight selection of Anthony Joshua, it's like fucking steak and potatoes that's going to preserve you and give you good fucking nutrients. This is exactly what I'm saying, man. Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua is a great fucking fight for this era. I am waiting to see it, and I guarantee to you there's going to be fireworks, bro. There's going to be fireworks. You, Andy Ruiz is going to bring a lot out of fucking Anthony Joshua, bro. You know what I mean? A lot of Anthony Joshua fans have not seen the best of Joshua as he is still growing. Now we get to see. Now it gets harder for him. It gets harder for him now, which is great. I like to see my champions under fucking attrition. I like that shit. I love, I love that. I come from that era. I come from that era where I want to see one motherfucker test the motherfucker I'm following to see if this motherfucker is really about it. And once he demolishes this motherfucker, then I already know he's about it. We're ready for the next major challenge. Not minor, major fucking challenge. So this is exactly what has to happen here. What's really happening here is you wild the fucking fanboys don't like it, but it's the fucking truth. And here's the fucking truth. Anthony Joshua is being tested and, and passing tests with flying fucking colors. Deontay Wilder is passing tests with one color. And that's yellow. Okay, guys? I'm not dissing. I'm not dissing Wilder. But facts are facts. Resumes are resumes. And that's all I got to say about that. Otherwise than that, I'm your boy, Jay Cotto, telling the truth within the sport of boxing, Star Wars, the movie world, and life itself. Otherwise than that, guys, catch me tonight, 7 p.m. on my Star Wars stream, live stream, where I'll be talking about what the fuck's going on over here. Otherwise than that, God bless, stay vigilant. May the force be with you. Hashtag come back to boxing. Peace, fellas.